Hi, I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me and Content Snare. And today I would like to introduce you to LinkedIn Lead Gen Forms, which you can use to generate highly targeted leads for your business. And the second part, I would like to show you how you can automatically get the leads you generate with those forms into your CRM using an automation tool called Zapier. LinkedIn is an amazing advertising platform because you can get very granular on who you are targeting with your ads. So things like company size, location, industry, all of these things are available for targeting. And specifically LinkedIn lead forms are amazing because when your lead clicks on an ad, it will automatically pre-fill all the fields in the form with the information that LinkedIn already knows. So there's very little friction for the person clicking on the ad, they click the ad, they just check the data there and hit submit and that's going to come directly to you as a lead. And when there's low friction, you get higher conversions. But of course, no one wants to be manually copying those new leads over to a new system. So today you're going to learn how to use Zapier to automatically move those leads from LinkedIn over to your CRM. So let's have a look at how you can set this up. In your LinkedIn account, just come up here to the top right hand corner and click on advertise. This will take you into the campaign manager for LinkedIn. If you've never been in here before, you'll want to create an account where you'll give it a name, choose the currency for your ads and link it to an existing page on LinkedIn. I've already done that uh, for my existing page content snare. So I'm just going to open that up. Then click create campaign group, give it a name. And I'm going to choose to start this in a couple of days time. Once you're done there, open the new campaign group that you just set up and click create campaign. Click next. And we're going to choose a lead generation objective, which creates those pre-filled lead forms that I was speaking about earlier. So go ahead and click that. And then we need to choose our audience. So I'm going to leave this as targeting Australia. Obviously you might want to change that to your country. And then we can target specific audiences that we've created. And one thing that's cool to know here is that you can actually push people into a matched audience in LinkedIn using Zapier. So you could push all of your current clients into LinkedIn just by their email addresses and then create a lookalike audience of them. But that is a topic for another video, which you will find linked up below. For now, we're only going to use audience attributes. You can click through these items like company and demographics to find what kind of information you'd like to target. But in my case, I already know. So I want to target web design as an interest. So I can just search for it here and look for it in the list. So we've got a member interest, but then I only want to target people who are interested in web design, but are the director of a company. So I'm going to close this one and narrow the audience further. for people who have director as a job title. If you choose director level seniority instead of job title, you will get a larger audience and LinkedIn actually often recommends this, but I'm just gonna stick with job title for now. So based on that, LinkedIn is giving us a summary on the right hand side of how many people it thinks we can reach and how many leads we might get per day. Continuing on, you can choose where to run this ad. I'm going to leave it as a single image ad, but you might want to have one with a video to encourage people to fill out your lead form. But otherwise I'm going to leave everything else here as default. When you're done, just click next and confirm that you want to save this. The next step is to actually create our ad. So go ahead and click the button that says create new ad. Give it a name and some text that we want to display on the ad. It's going to give us a preview of what this will look like in the feed in LinkedIn. Next, give it a destination URL. Note that you don't need to put a form on your website at this URL because the form is actually going to be filled out on LinkedIn itself. The person doesn't need to go to your website and you'll see how this works in a second.
So this URL is really just what's going to show up in the ad itself. It also gives the opportunity to scrape some information from this URL. So it will go out and find that image uh, and some information from your website that you can see here. If you want to change any of this, you can just replace the image file here, change the headline or description. And normally all of this would show down here. So that's where the URL is displaying that you can see here, as well as the headline. The description doesn't show here, and that's because it's only used on some ad placements like the LinkedIn audience network, if you enable that. Now we create the form. So jump down to here, choose the call to action that you want. I'm going to leave it as sign up and I'm going to create a new lead gen form. Give it a name. This is not one that your leads will see. This is just for your own reference. Add in a headline and add some copy for the ad. And you can see it's generated a preview here. You'll need to provide a link to your privacy policy and some privacy policy text. I'm going to leave this as what I have there. Now we have to set up the questions we want to ask on the form. You can add up to 12 pre-filled questions and three custom questions. So in this case, I'm really interested in getting the company name, size, and industry. And you'll see this has updated on the right hand side. And these are all our pre-filled data points that LinkedIn will add when the person clicks the ad. If you want to ask something that's not in here, you can add a custom question and these appear here at the top. But in this case, I don't need that. You can add some custom checkboxes if you need multiple levels of consent from this person, uh, but you can see there is a default one there. So I'm going to leave that and move on. Then we move on to confirmation and what we want to display to our client once they've signed up. So I'm going to paste in a message and link them to our sign up page and change that call to action to try now. So now once they have filled out the form, they can immediately click through to our sign up page to start their trial. And I'm done here now, so I'm going to click create. For now, that's the only ad I want to create in this campaign. So I'll click next. And here you can launch the campaign. But first I'd like to set up the automation to make sure this is all going to work. Before we go over to Zapier, I'd just like to show you one thing. Back on the main campaign manager page, if you go to account assets and lead gen forms, this is where you can come if you ever need to edit that form, add more fields or modify anything that you have set up previously. So now let's make this more impactful with automation. You'll need to jump over to zapier.com and create your account if you don't have one already. Once you're inside, it will look like this. Come up to the top left and click make a zap. So this is how we create our workflow to move contacts or leads from LinkedIn over to our CRM. We'll give this a name and then we need to select the trigger. So this is the event that will kick off this workflow. So for us, that's going to be LinkedIn lead gen forms. So you use the search box and then choose LinkedIn lead gen forms. A trigger event will be when we get a new form response. Then continue on. If you haven't connected a LinkedIn lead gen account before, you'll have to click here and sign in. It will be automatically selected and then you can continue choose your ad account and choose the form that we've just created. Then click continue. Now we need to test that form to make sure it's working. So click this button. It says it couldn't find a form response and that's because we just created that form and no one's filled it out yet. So let's go ahead and test this ourselves. The easiest way to do that is jump back over to LinkedIn and find that original campaign. So it's this one here. This is the one we just created and then click the ad here. It opens it up in your LinkedIn feed. You can come down and click this ad just like you were a potential client of your own. So you can see it's pre-filled my email address as well as all the information about our company and then click submit. So now we should be able to pick that up in Zapier. So jump back over here and we'll click test again. And it looks like it's worked. It's come back uh, with my own information, hopefully uh, there. Yeah, so we can see my email address. Um, 
Yeah, and you'll see how this comes through to this CRM shortly. So for now, I'm just gonna go to continue. And now we move on to the action step. And this is where we push the contact or the lead into your CRM. Zapier connects with thousands of different applications. So chances are it already connects to your CRM. And the way to find out is to type it into this box. So for me, that's active campaign. So search for your CRM and then click it. Next, you'll choose an action event. And in this case, this one makes the most sense. We want to create or update an existing contact. This might look a little bit different depending on what CRM you have, but you're looking for some kind of create contact action here. Once you've selected that, click continue. Connect your account just like you did for LinkedIn. I've already connected accounts before, so I'm just going to select one instead. This step is going to differ quite a lot based on what CRM you're using, but I'll show you the basic principles. With Zapier, you can map in information that's come from the previous step. So in this case, that's the LinkedIn lead gen form. If you click here, you'll be able to access all the information that's come from that previous step. So you can see here, we've got the email address. So we'll map that data directly into the email address field in ActiveCampaign. Likewise with first name and with last name. We also got some extra information from that form. For example, industry, so I'm going to search there, company size, and name. Now LinkedIn also gives you some information about the ad that we ran. So I might want to put the name of that campaign into the lead source in Active Campaign. If you'd like to see what information comes back, just click into one of these boxes and scroll through. You can see there's a lot of different information that's come through about the ad and about the person who has uh, completed the form. When you're done mapping in all the information, click continue. And now we can test if this person actually gets added to Active Campaign. I've already got Active Campaign open here in my testing account, so I've only got 13 contacts. If we go back and click test and continue, Zappy is actually gonna go out and attempt to create that contact based on the setup that we just created. And you can see it says it was successful. So let's go and have a look. Looks like there are 14 contacts now and here is the contact that it just created. You can see it's pulled in the name of the ad, the industry, company size and company name from that form that I just tested earlier. So it looks like that's all working. So we've got jump back here and now we'll turn on the workflow. And that's all there is to it. Now, every time someone fills out that form on LinkedIn, it will be automatically added to Active Campaign. You can even extend this workflow further by doing things like sending yourself an SMS whenever someone fills out a lead form. I'll leave that to you to explore, but Zapier integrates with thousands of different applications, so you might find lots of different use cases. That's all for this video. To get started with this process for yourself, head over to LinkedIn and click that advertise icon in the top right corner, or just go to business.linkedin.com. And of course, head over to zapier.com to create your account and start creating some automatic workflows for your lead generation.